Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we can monitor Docker containers using Grafana and Telegraph. Now, as you can see here on the screen, we are able to monitor Dockers and we are able to basically monitor uh, how many total number of containers are there, how many of them are running and is there any of them uh, which is in stopped state. We are also able to see total number of Docker images available. And here if you see, uh, we are able to see what is the uptime of these containers. So I've just launched or just started these containers a few minutes ago. So that's the reason you can see that all of them have started almost at the same time. Now, if you just move here on the right side, you are able to see uh, Docker containers uh, memory consumption. So you can see how much memory is consumed by uh, each container. And uh, here you what what you see here is uh, the name of the container. So if you want to see uh, ID of the container, you can do that as well. Uh, so again, this is uh, quite a basic or beginner level dashboard which I have created. Uh, we can enhance and make it you know quite advanced level of uh, Docker container monitoring uh, kind of solution as well. Uh, but in this session, we are just going to focus on how to basically enable a monitoring of Docker containers and how you can create uh, this sort of basic dashboard. What I have done is I have I have uploaded this JSON file here on my website. So you can go to itpanther.com and go to downloads section. And once you go there, uh, this is the you know Grafana dashboard to monitor Docker. Just you can click here on download uh, to download the file and then you can just go to a create you can go to import and you can import that json file here and then you are going to see the same dashboard uh, of course you have to make sure that uh, you have already done the configuration which is required to uh, monitor a docker so i'm going to show you all of those just stick around with me and uh, so that's all i had to say and now we are going to uh, begin with our tutorial so first thing which we need to uh, do here is uh, we need to go to the server where we have uh, telegraph installed and also we need to you know we need to tell basically telegraph that start monitoring uh, start monitoring all the parameters related to docker okay so uh, what we need to do here is uh, first of all i'm just gonna clear the screen and so basically on this server I have all the docker containers running and I have also installed telegraph on this server. So we need to go to etc and we need to go to telegraph and then we can go to telegraph.conf file and open up this file and look for docker. Okay so once you search for docker you will notice that uh, there is a stanza which is starting with inputs.docker. Okay so this is the one which I have uncommented and also here in the endpoints you need to uncomment uh, this line as well okay so this is the line you need to uh, uncomment and also this is the one inputs.docker so uh, to be honest these two lines are going to be enough to uh, monitor uh, docker uh, but what you can also do is you can also you know uh, enable these two lines which is container name include and container name exclude and if you want to exclude monitoring of any container so for example uh, let's say here we have list of you know four containers which we are monitoring and let's say for some reason i want to monitor all the containers but i also want to exclude one of the containers from monitoring okay so in that case we can do that we can uh, put the those entries here and if you uh, put those entries here in exclude in that case you also need to make sure you uncomment that line in this case uh, i haven't really filled any data here so it doesn't really matter whether we uh, comment it or leave it as it is uh, but basically these two lines are important okay these two lines are important and uh, after that you need to uh, make sure that you restart telegraph okay the other thing which you can do is uh, you can go to influx db just to make sure whether you are able to get all the measurements related to telegraph so you can go to influx and go to use telegraph show me measurements now here you can see that all these docker related uh, statistics or measurements have started to be uh, populate here okay now there is one error which i was getting when uh, i actually did all this configuration and for some reason i was not able to get all this data 
and then when I checked I found out that there, there was some issue related to permission okay so let me see if we are able to see that uh, permission issue so if you want to see telegraph logs you need to go to where log messages and I'm going to grab it with sock okay yeah so this is the issue which I was getting so here you can see I was getting issue that uh, permission is denied on slash where slash run slash docker dot sock okay and that was the reason uh, telegraph was not able to monitor all these uh, parameters so what I had to do was I have to grant permission I have to give permission uh, to this directory okay and the permission which I gave is uh, let me quickly show that to you okay so if you just uh, see this line so this is the permission which I have given is so it is sudo space ch mode space 666 uh, space slash where slash run slash docker dot sock okay uh, so that's it from the configuration side so once you have done uh, done all of these things and then you should be able to create this uh, dashboard okay now I'm just gonna quickly create uh, the same dashboard which I have shown here so you understand how to do these things I'm just gonna go to plus go to dashboard I'm going to open up in in a new tab and first we are going to show total number of containers now to do that uh, all we need to do is just go to add new panel and here we need to select the right data source so my data source is correct it is in flux db and in the measurement we are going to show uh, docker and in the select field we need to say containers so what we are showing first we are showing total number of containers so here we are going to select n containers okay so n containers is the total number of containers and also i'm going to remove this mean uh, we don't really need all of these grouping and here in the visualization we are going to change it to uh, stat okay so this is uh, how I had created total containers and also I had named it total containers okay or we can just uh, leave it and call it total uh, because it is already understood that this is uh, we are talking about containers here so that's that's all about you know creating total number of containers and the second one which I had created is running stop and total images so it's quite easy you can just uh, duplicate it and go to edit and you can just change it to total number of containers running and also here in the title you can change it to running and click on apply copy it again and I'm going to duplicate again and we are going to show how many of them are in uh, stop state so we are just going to go to edit again I'm just going a little fast because uh, I know you guys have been following me and you are already aware of some of the basic steps so that's the reason there is no point of you know talking about basic uh, stuff in uh, slow motion okay and here we are going to show images so I'm just gonna change it to uh, images and images and that should be enough okay now notice here uh, here I'm showing everything in different colors so if you just uh, want to do it you can go to total and just scroll down here in the you know color mode you can select background and also if you want to change this color from green you can just remove this threshold go to field remove this threshold and change this base color to uh, whatever color you want so for total I just let's say we want this color we can do that and for running uh, we prefer I just prefer to keep it yellow so we can do that as well and for that I'm going to remove this and we are going to keep it yellow okay so I'm just not gonna uh, waste your time going through all of these things uh, just notice here we just uh, forgot to change the name of the title here so this is stopped and since we are here I'm just gonna quickly uh, quickly gonna change it change the color here as well so if anything is stopped we can show it in red color and also if 
since we are already coloring all the background we can do this uh, here as well okay sometimes i do like to share more details uh, i know you guys you know already know about these things uh, if you have been following my uh, previous tutorials uh, so that's all about you know uh, kind of you know showing kind of docker summary and let's say here we want to change it to last five minutes and now next dashboard which i have created here is showing container name and also the uptime of the containers so we can do that uh, by going to add new panel and we want to show uh, what we want to show here is I'm just gonna quickly uh, see which measurement I have selected here so it is under docker container status alright so we are just going to go to uh, docker container status so everything related to uh, status whether is it is you know what is the whether it is exited finished and started and all those things uh, are contained under docker container status measurement so here we are going to select uptime underscore ns now notice here uh, underscore ns uh, stands for uh, nanosecond okay so it is just uh, in nanosecond and one more thing i need to do here is going to change it to table and in the group by going to remove it and we are going to add limit okay now uh, just going to show you limit later on so i can explain explain it to you here i'm going to change it to table okay and notice here you are seeing uptime in nanosecond okay we do want to change it and for that what you can do here is go to field and actually we need to go to override go to override and here create an override which is having the field name uptime underscore ns and also change its uh, unit change its unit to nanosecond and once you do that you will notice that it is showing uptime properly okay now uh, notice here we have so many entries here okay so we are having so many entries and one more thing to notice here is that we are not able to uh, see name of the uh, containers okay so for that I'm going to group by it with the name of a container name if you want you can group it by a container ID or host or whatever you want in this case I'm just gonna group it by container underscore name okay now notice here is that we have so many data points for one container and then we have uh, data points for other containers so uh, what we are interested here is we are interested here is uh, in only one entry for each of these containers okay so for that what we need to do here is in the group by we need to add limit and under the limit we need to change it to one okay so once we do that we are just going to see only one entry for each of the container and just to make sure that this is the latest uh, entry so for that we can use uh, last here in the selector okay and once we change it to last it just you know uh, ruined our function which we had applied to uptime underscore ns so i'm just going to, going to alias it and in the alias we are going to change its name to uptime underscore ns again okay so in that case uh, this issue is fixed now notice one thing um, if you see here in this dashboard which i had created previously uh, i'm just showing container name and uptime we are not showing uh, we are not showing uh, uh, this time field okay so depending on whether you want to see this time field or not uh, you can make a choice so for example if I don't want to uh, show this time field I can go to organize fields and in the organize field I need to we can just you know you see this little I button here we can just kind of deselect it in that case you will notice that we don't have a uh, time field shown here any longer and also I'm just going to change the panel to uh, containers uptime now uh, also one thing is if you want to rename uh, these headers you can do that here as well so for example I can change this container name to I can call it containers okay and you can notice here that name has been changed and uh, I guess uh, you guys are already aware of how to change colors so I'm not going to a show about coloring here it's just going to make it uh, make this tutorial a little bit longer 
okay if i start showing everything so uh, now what we will do here is uh, we are going to create just one more uh, this memory you say dashboard and for that i'm going to go to add new panel and from add new panel we are going to uh, in the measurement we need to select docker containers underscore mem okay so you see uh, if you want to go for CPU utilization, you need to select Docker container CPU utilization. If you want to see a Docker container memory utilization, so select this one. If you want to see network related data, so select container underscore net. In this case, I'm going to select memory and in the field, I'm going to change it to uh, utilized. Oh, let's, let's see, we have something related to total. Or I'm just going to uh, see which one which is the field which is uh, making more sense so here I think used percentage is fine we can use a uh, used percentage and also in the mean uh, rather than mean I'm going to uh, call it last I'm gonna change it to last function and notice here it's uh, showing dots so either we can uh, connect all the null values here and also one thing here which we need to notice is uh, we need to change it to uh, we want to break it down by each container so in the group by we need to select a uh, container name okay so now you can see we have data for all the containers and also notice uh, it is showing all the container uh, names with a lot of other stuff as well so we are just going to uh, in the alias by we are going to write tag underscore container underscore name okay so whatever field for example here you see container name so you can alias it by tag underscore container underscore name and then you are going to just see container uh, names here and one more thing which i had done is i had just enabled uh, i had enabled show as table and also i had enabled min max and current values and in the visualization i had just uh, increased uh, this a bit and also in the area field i have in increase uh, this a little bit and also if you want we can uh, enable points which is just gonna make this look little more uh, dynamic and uh, that's all now it is showing us memory utilization for all the containers just gonna call it memory utilization and we can just now keep it and leave it here okay so that's how easy it is uh, to monitor containers now just to show you uh, as a proof that it is monitoring containers almost in a real time so what we can do is uh, i'm going to stop one of the containers and for that uh, let me first show you So I'm just going to clear the screen and we are going to run docker space ps hyphen a hyphen q and it is going to show us uh, basically it's going to show us all the container IDs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, going to stop one container either we can stop the container with the name or we can stop it with the ID so let's say if we want to stop the container with name uh, let's say we want to stop this web underscore db we can do that by using docker space stops uh, space the container name hit enter and now this one uh, has been stopped and now notice uh, we should notice that uh, the status is going to change here i'm just going to change it to refresh interval of five seconds now i'm just gonna wait uh, five to ten seconds okay now you can see here that we already have uh, one of the containers have uh, stopped and it has moved from running to stop okay uh, so if you want you can set up email alert that if any of the container goes to stop state you might want to send an email uh, depending on whatever use case you have and also maybe if uh, the number of containers is 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 uh, the number of running container is too high then you may also want to set some sort of alerting okay so you can do all those uh, kind of stuff uh, so that's all I had to show in this video. Do not forget that if you want to download this uh, and just want to import it, in that case you can go to itpanther.com and then select downloads and then you'll be able to uh, download uh, this uh, JSON file here. And also what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to you know continue uploading all the JSON file here. So as a beginner it's going to be very easy for you to uh, practice. You can just download those JSON file, uh, go to create dashboard, uh, go to import and once you go to import 
uh, just going to save this dashboard first so once you go to uh, import in that case you are going to see option of upload json file and then you can click on upload json file and give the uh, you know path of the file which you have just downloaded from here okay so that's how it is going to work and also just if uh, you are interested you may fill this uh, kind of newsletter uh, form so what i'm thinking is that uh, every week i'm going to send some of the tips and uh, tricks uh, in a form of a pdf uh, which i'm going to send directly to your email ids okay so i'll just try to uh, not spam you guys because i just want to you know uh, keep it uh, i want to keep the frequency of these newsletters probably once in a week or once in two weeks and i'm just going to only send uh, some important stuff i'm not going to send some uh, random you know stuff so if you want you may uh, subscribe to this newsletter and if you don't want that's completely fine uh, because you may be getting uh, all the updates through youtube video as well okay if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm just uh, now going to be more consistent in terms of creating videos here on youtube uh, so do show your support by subscribing uh, i've seen a lot of people who are watching but uh, are not really subscribing to the channel. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.